going to tell you about a mascara that I've been testing for the past couple of weeks. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I've been on a hunt for a good all-natural mascara as well as a good all-natural foundation. I don't know why, I feel like it's really hard to find that, but I went to Sephora website and I purchased the Josie Moran Black or Argan Black Oil Mascara as well as the Josie Moran Argan Matchmaker Serum Foundation. I have heard about this brand before. I know they're all natural. Well, she is all natural, cruelty-free, and she's known for her Argan oil. Pretty much any product of hers contains organic, 100% organic Argan oil. So I was very intrigued and kind of very excited to try these out. I went online beforehand and I researched a little bit. I went for the reviews and saw what the people are saying. Pretty much the reviews were mixed. So today I wanted to tell you about this mascara. I don't want to talk about the foundation yet because I am still thinking. So her products are definitely not the cheapest. The mascara cost me $22. And let me just tell you a little bit about the mascara. So it is paraben free. It contains organic argan oil. It's got no synthetic fragrance. It's recyclable. Uh, it's got organic ingredients. It's got all natural ingredients. It's cruelty free and gluten free. It's very strange because it doesn't say that it's vegan, which kind of surprises me, I guess, because the foundation does say that it is vegan. So I don't know. I don't know if it contains animal products or not, but it doesn't say that it's vegan. So the mascara claims that it is a 24-hour mascara. Uh, it's clinically proven to increase the appearance of the lash volume 10 times after one application. And then it says creamy and 91% natural. Argan Black Oil Mascara conditions as it coats, lengthening, voluminizing, lifting, and curling for eyes that sparkle and invite the world in. So I do have it on my eyes right now. And what do you guys think? I would like to know what you guys think. And I would like to know if you guys try this mascara as well. <laughs> Pretty much, I am not that impressed. Um, I don't know what I was expecting out of this mascara. I guess I was expecting a little bit more just because of the price and I know that her line is very good. First of all, the formula is very dry. I don't know if it's just me. I really feel like the formula is really dry. Like it's going to dry out very, very quick. I don't like that. I, if it comes to applying and wearing, it applies pretty easily and it voluminizes my uh, eyelashes a little bit. Not, don't, I don't think it's 10 times. It lengthens my lashes a little bit. Nothing spectacular, I guess. If it is a 24 hour wear, I have no idea because I haven't worn it for 24 hours. One thing that I've noticed when I applied it and I went to work and it was really, really hot and sweaty and humid, uh, it transferred like after, like after like eight hours, it transferred a little, little tiny bit just on one eye too. I don't know if that why that eye is sweating or what, but it was just transferring just tiny little bit, just like tiny little dots. Um, I mean, you can wipe it off and it will be fine, but... But for a mascara that costs me $22 and is made out of all these amazing ingredients, I feel like I would expect a little bit more. So would I repurchase this mascara? No, I wouldn't. I don't say it's a horrible mascara. I'm not saying that it's a horrible mascara. I'm not saying that it's a wonderful mascara. This mascara actually has got mixed reviews. Some people absolutely love it and some people are just like, please don't buy it. I am somewhere there in the middle. I just wouldn't purchase, repurchase again, but I will definitely use it up and and I am definitely still on the search. I have heard about the 100% Pure Mascara, that it's very good. And also I have heard about the Pacifica Mascara. So both of these are definitely on my list. They're gonna be next to get it and I'm gonna put them to the test as well. <laughs> if you guys have tried the mascara that's all natural, vegan, cruelty-free and I should know about the mascara, then let me know in the comments below. I would love to see what you guys like and your input so I can get it and put it to the test as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!